St. Edward's crown was used by Archbishop of Canterbury at actual moment of the monarch's coronation. Elizabeth swapped crown for lighter imperial state crown before leaving Westminster Abbey on the day. This was a replacement for the original crown and appears in opening sequence of Netflix drama The Crown. The Queen shares her memories of her coronation day in a rare moment featured on a new BBC programme. 65 years ago, it was placed on the head of a 27-year-old Princess Elizabeth, signalling the moment she became Queen. Now, for the first time since her coronation in 1953, her Majesty has been reunited with the glittering, but little seen, St. Edward's crown. Although many associate the British monarch with the imperial state crown, normally sported at the state opening of Parliament, the St. Edward's crown is used by the Archbishop of Canterbury at the actual moment of coronation. Made for Charles II in 1661 by the crown jeweller, Robert Viner, it was a replacement for the original, medieval crown which had been melted down in 1649 by the parliamentarians and was thought to date back to the 11th century royal saint, Edward the Confessor, the last Anglo-Saxon king of England. Scroll down for video composed of a solid gold frame, set with tourmalines, white and yellow topazes, rubies, amethysts, sapphires, garnet, peridot, zircons, spinel, and aquamarines, mounted in enameled gold collets, it also has a velvet cap with an ermine band. Our present Queen's coronation, which took place at Westminster Abbey on June 2, 1953 after 16 months of planning, was watched by millions throughout the world for the first time on television. At the moment the Archbishop of Canterbury placed the St. Edward's crown on a young sovereign's head, a fanfare was played by the state trumpeters, triggering a gun salute from the Tower of London and a peal of the Abbey Bells. Despite being the nation's longest reigning monarch, the Queen, who will celebrate her 92nd birthday in April, has never worn a St. Edward's crown again. Indeed, aside from a brief glimpse behind glass when she opened the Jewel House at the Tower of London in 1994, she hasn't even seen it in the flesh. St. Edward's vs. the Imperial State Crown St. Edward's crown is the crown that the Archbishop of Canterbury used at the actual moment of coronation in 1953. However, Queen Elizabeth then exchanged the crown for the Imperial State Crown, which is much lighter, before leaving Westminster Abbey. This crown, which is worn at the state opening of Parliament, is also believed to feature in the opening credits of Netflix drama The Crown. In series one of the show, actress Claire Foy, who plays the Queen, is seen trying on St. Edward's crown ahead of her coronation ceremony. But Queen and Crown have now been reunited again for a stunning new collaboration between BBC One and the Royal Collection Trust, the charity responsible for one of the largest and most important art collections in the world. Entitled The Coronation, the hour-long film will reveal the story behind the Crown Jewels, which consists of 140 items and 23,000 precious stones, and the ceremony in which they are used. For the first time, the Queen will also personally share memories of the ceremony, as well as that of her father King George Virgin Islands US in 1937. Viewing both private and official film footage, she recalls the day when the weight of both St. Edward's crown, and the hopes and expectations of a country recovering from war, were placed on her shoulders, saying, I've seen one coronation, and been the recipient in the other, which is pretty remarkable. The film, which is part of a series of programs across BBC television and radio revealing the treasures of the Royal Collection, also features eyewitness accounts of those who participated in the 1953 coronation, including a maid of honour who nearly fainted in the Abbey, and a 12-year-old Choyerbo.